friends, welcome back. Today we're going to build another website and we're going to focus on business and working with a content manager today. So don't miss another video. Do hit subscribe, follow us and check out our comment section and let us know what you think about our videos. All right, let's get to it. So creating a website, we're just going to click right here in the upper right hand side corner and we're going to allow Wix to do its magic, open it up to the website choice. Now, since I'm going to be focusing on business, I'm going to choose exactly business. All right, once I click business, I can let ADI or I can let the website actually choose with templates, show me the templates that they have to offer. So let's choose the template and let's scroll over and look. So we have these categories, farming and gardening in which there's more, pets and animals. So today I would like to do, um, let's try real estate. I would like to work with real estate a little bit today. So we can look over some of the templates they have. Uh, maybe you're a realtor, maybe this video will help to you and you're wanting to kind of get it out there and really make some real cash. Everybody loves cash in their pocket. So let's find one here, a construction company, a real estate landing page. Well, let's see what we have. I'll well, find something that looks interesting and kind of jump off it. Architectural firm. Uh, <laughs> Let's come down the construction company. You see you have some choices here. We have two choices. A real estate firm, McDonald and Harris. Well, let's check out this version of it. So this looks pretty interesting. Find your dream. Uh, gracious dwelling. That looks pretty cool. Interior design company, architectural firm. But I want to focus more on real estate. Uh, so I'm going to come down and go back to one. I've seen this one, the real estate firm, real estate landing page. Let's, let's try this one out. Let's see what it has to offer. Uh, they have a wonderful little contact form. Property info. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Super cool. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to let it load. All right. And the shake of the lamb's tail is going to load up here. And we shall get started. All right. So our web page template has uploaded. So as you can see, it's pretty crafty, very beautiful, wonderful background. All right, some cool strips, great pictures, looks fantastic. All right, so let's see, find your dream home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very cool. They did really great with this. Okay, a wonderful, wonderful template to choose from. All right, so they contact us. We've done that before. All right, so let's go to add. We're going to go to add, and since we're going to be working with a content manager, let's scroll on down. Now, for this one, you can set up content collections, create hundreds of dynamic pages, and collect info from site visitors. Now, this is going to be pretty cool for you. So let's add it to the site and give it just a moment. All right, now we have the content manager. So we have custom, projects, services. All right, and news, portfolio, recipes, which is also great to uh, if you're building that restaurant property listings. Now, this is what we're going to want here. So let's add to the site about property listings. Since this is real estate, property listings is going to be the great. If you're building a website based on a restaurant, of course, uh, you're, you're going to want to do recipes or something of nature, right? Uh, so letting it load. All right, now we have our website. It's loading in here now. Let's add it to it. Okay, now it's going to come to our dashboard. So allowing it to load. All right, so now we have our properties, which is unpublished, right? So there's a lot of things here that show for the content manager. All right. 
so we have them now of course you can always select them right here and you can delete them if you don't like them uh, or you can add them as well with just new item and you can import items or you can export them to CSV and you can edit the settings as well we're not going to touch that you said you can select them all just with right here in the title now uh, as you can see we have mid-century style tones now I'm just going for the purpose of it if you have this many if you want to add a new one too you can add you can add as many as you like right so uh, let's come on now I'm going to start with the first one mid-century style house if you don't like that theme you select and there you go and you can type uh, medieval medieval whichever right it doesn't matter yeah, and I select it out uh, so mid synth style home right however you want to do it now the bedrooms as it shows it already gives that for you uh, with this template this is five bedrooms you can add the same just by clicking highlighting or just clicking on it and deleting or adding uh, we can see five six ten whichever I'm going to put back five and the location these are all the same address so here you'll exactly highlight and put those the same all right uh, so the email you can have it as well uh, to the side and you can choose the image now when you click the image you're going to see these three little bots it's more actions when you do so you can replace the image you can actually replace it with a URL uh, you can download or you can clear it out right I'm going to replace the image just to kind of show you again and uh, here if you have photos of it you have fantastic perfect uh, you're gonna go to upload media just like as you would with any other website how we build when you're trying to change the image or upload the image it's going to bring you exactly to this dashboard all right so we have this dashboard up I'm going to choose media from Wix and I'm going to put just just house right just house now of course <laughs> I don't think anybody is going to want to try to sell uh, an image or a picture uh, from Wix for the house it's not going to present itself so great house with pool well, that's pretty cool some cool options here uh-huh that's pretty cool uh, I want to choose this one just for now and I'm going to add that item now we have that item and it's going to be the same for all of them now we have and you can see and scrolling over here and you have a description the placeholder and you can put this this house is amazing must by all right and you here we have the price all the same again it's a template uh, so you can select let's see 12 million right we can just put a bunch of zeros uh, however you want to choose all right coming on over you have multiple pictures for the gallery now when you select these you can come over properties set blank seals on top and when you select on this when you click on the gallery it's going to open up and you're going to be able to add multiple pictures to this and you can drag them and you can drop them you can change which picture you see first right now I want to add media I want to add another picture all right so the same I'm going to choose here from Wix house And I'm just going to add to the page as well and we have a new one and it's going to be the same you can change the title as well and the description of that same picture right okay now I'm going to click and see we just added a new picture and you're going to do that the same so you're exactly going to scroll over and scroll down for it uh, for each one that you're wanting to change and if you're not sure about these let's say again I just added one but let's show you how to delete them all right now I'm going to select all for this or you can select one one by one 
whichever you want. One by one, you can delete, or we can select all and delete as well, and click done. And there we go, we deleted all of them. See? All right, and let's see, now you have the year built for the house. That was January 1st at 3 a.m. All right, so the same, we can change the date as well and the time for you. Now the next is the status bar coming down for sale. All right, we're going to change that and we're just going to say sold. All right, we have it for sold. And scrolling over here, we have the agent name which is super cool because if you have your own agent system, this is can be like your realtor firm. If you have multiple agents working for you or yourself, we can change that name. Now the bathrooms is giving you the bathroom information. Of course, the same, just change the text, the agent phone number, and the square foot of the house, right? So the size. Now you have floors. How many floors? It's a two-story house, right? The property's title, the century style, you can change it and the properties all, right? And this is it. This is it for uh, the properties. Now, pretty easy, right? Pretty simple. All right, now it says our sort is out of date. I'm going to update it. All right, we've updated and because I clicked some extra ones, I'm gonna delete them, delete, and there we go. And give it just a moment. It's going to load and save. And there we go. You see, pretty simple, pretty fast, very easy. All right, and that's our content manager. Oh, and before we exit out here, I do want to explain something to you. You see, it's unpublished. So how to publish this is exactly when you publish the entire website, which in the future we'll go over that as well. But until we go over all of this information for you, we're not going to publish this site. All right, so that's our content manager. Now let's take a look at it on the site itself. All right, so you can also do here at Properties All, you can go to Settings, add a new item, rename it, manage all items, remove, remove connections as well, and there you go. So let's look at this. All right, so we have the content manager on the site, as you can see. All right, so you can scroll up and down as you please. I'm going to drag this a little bit out of the way. And it went right in between the contact us. So you can actually move this as well on down to the page. The property listings. All right. See that? Pretty cool. And you have a page here, a button for properties, uh, which is cool. And you can find that through menus and pages. Uh, so the site menu, home, and properties. Now this came exactly only when we added the content manager and added properties. All right, so now we have that. So we can manage the content. That's exactly where we, what we did. And you can find this same information in content manager right here without having to click on this as well to kind of get you faster. Now let's go to the layout. Going to the layout, you can have it from the left to the right as well. Multiple options. All right, uh, let me move this over. So this is the repeater. It's just going to repeat until we go through all of them as well. The spacing between items, we can, we can change. We can make less. We can make it more. Right, so we can go from left to right or right to left. Now this is the repeater layout because this is actually classified as a repeater, much like your gallery, but because of the content, it made all of that hard work completed for you. All right, now we, of course, have the animation. When you see this, just like anything else, that repeater box will come out. All right, we have it done, and you can stretch it to the full width of the site. See? Or not. And you can leave the margins in between it as well. All right, and I'm going to minimize it and exit. And I can just go ahead to remove that repeater about right here. All right, and to kind of let you see what it looks like, let's go to preview. All right, and here we go. 
and this is the repeater. This is what the site looks like with property listings. Pretty cool, right? And we have our contact, you see. And of course, if you guys remember, anytime you have, uh, when you're actually in the uh, editor, you can just click and change this about OP, and you can even change this. All of it you can fix as well, so don't worry. All right, now the repeater, when you click on it, uh, as well, now you can see all of this information. You can copy as well, and you can see all information. Now, the cozy minimalist apartment. Now, once you click, when you hover over it, this is the information that pops up. So, it's going to give you all of the property details and the map. All right, so let's go back to editor, and it's going to show this for you as well. Now, all right, now we are in the editor for this. And now for the map, you can actually manage the locations. Do the same. One or multiple. And the address, the title, the Wix office is where we are located. All right. And you can do the year built. You can change all of this too. But the content manager is where you're going to be. So you're actually going to change content. And it's going to take you right back here. So even if you're trying to do this, it's still going to send you back. Uh, so you'll never be lost. You're not going to be confused if you follow that simple just content manager. Even in where you're right here, you want to do. Now you can edit the text, but you see this text is managed in the properties collection. So that's it. The design of the text, you can do that right here uh, as well, and you can actually change the color if that's something you're wanting to do. But if you're actually trying to change the text name of it, you're going to do that in content manager. It's pretty cool, pretty crafty. You can't beat it. It's like there's nothing else that's going to make building a website any easier. It's just not going to happen. All right. So uh, so you can connect it to data as well. And I want to exit out. Uh, but first, I'm going to go back to menus and pages because I want to go to the site menu. And I'm going to go to home. And I'm just going to go this way. This is how I'm navigating. All right. Do you see? And you would just click. And it takes you out of that as well, and it exactly removes. Find your dream home, contact us, right? And this is all the information for Content Manager. It's exactly going to put all of this hard work for you, and it's going to make it so much easier. All right, guys. And so this is it for the Content Manager. Very fast, very easy, and we'll do again with some other themes, especially with like. We're going to do with other businesses. We're going to do with like recipes. So don't worry if, of course, real estate is not quite yet your style. We can do that as well. Uh, so we're going to go over it to you and we're going to go to, since you, we've already showed you how to work with a content manager, we can add the content manager with some recipes, come do that quickly. And of course, go over the basics again with some of the backgrounds, the strips, and just to kind of refresh your memory on exactly how to do that. So typically, you can really create a website. If you give yourself about two hours or so, you've already created a website. If you go to the premium plan, you remove that domain, that Wix.com domain, and you actually have your own domain uh, based on that. So uh, it's really worth taking a look as well with Wix. All right, guys. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. All right, have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you in the next video for more awesome tips and tricks with Weeks.com.